Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor. Today I want to show you an important conceptual question in physics that's related to kinematics and projectile motion. So the problem is this. Let's say I throw a ball. It doesn't matter where I throw this ball, but I'll throw it at an angle. I can also throw this ball straight up. That's not the point of the question, but I throw it. It goes in this kind of arc shape like this, and then it's going to hit the ground later. My question to you is when we are at the peak of this flight, peak of flight, it can't get any higher than that. I just want you to tell me what is the direction of velocity and acceleration. Again, at the peak of the flight. So let's start with velocity. Velocity is gonna be easy to find because if you think about it, velocity has two components, especially because we're at an angle here. Velocity has an X component and velocity has a Y component. When you are at the highest point, the peak, the velocity in the Y component is always zero. The Y component zero because you're at the peak of the flight, you're not moving up and you're not moving down at that instant in time, you're just momentarily in place at the very top. Now, the X component is obviously not zero because you're moving to the right at that point. So I'm just gonna say that VX points to the left. And since the X component points to the left and the Y component is zero, the direction of my velocity is just going to point left. And that's it for velocity. Now the bigger and better question is the acceleration. What is the acceleration at the peak of flight? This one's a much harder question for many students, but in my opinion, it's the easiest question in the world. Because no matter where you are on this path of flight, the acceleration is the same everywhere. Remember that number, g equals 9.81 meters per second squared we learned? Well, that's what the acceleration is. It's negative g, and that's the acceleration everywhere. At every point, in this diagram, the acceleration, not the velocity, the acceleration is negative g everywhere, including at the top, at the peak of flight. So the acceleration, I just want the direction, so it's going to point down, and we actually do know the value, it's negative 9.81 meters per second squared. So if I wanted a number, I know the number as well. Now let's just ask one more question, just real quick. Let's say it's the exact same scenario, ball here, but this time I'm just gonna throw it straight up, it goes up, and then it comes straight back down, just like that. Again, same question, what's the direction of my velocity and acceleration? So this time we're gonna start with acceleration because you should know this. At the peak of flight, the acceleration is the same everywhere. The acceleration points down and again, the value is negative 9.81 meters per second squared. That's the acceleration. Now, if I want the velocity, again, there's an X component and a Y component. Like we said earlier, at the peak of flight, at the peak, the velocity is zero. And in this example, the X component is also zero because you're not moving to the left or the right. It's just moving straight up and straight down. So that velocity is zero. It sounds like the velocity doesn't have a direction because the velocity is zero. You can write no direction if you want, that's fine as well. So that's the answer to that question if you throw it straight up. So that's just a fun, if you call it fun, conceptual question for physics, specifically with kinematics and projectile motion. If you do have any questions, please post them in the comments below. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, and bye-bye.